has been absolutely appalling. I, I thank the member for McDamara and I call the um, manager of opposition business. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak about the bravery of the people of Iran as they protest against the repressive, autocratic and undemocratic regime in that country. I'm proud that my electorate of Bradfield is home to a significant community of Australians of Iranian background. Recently, I met with a delegation of Australians of Iranian background who live in my electorate to discuss the widespread protests in Iran. My Australian-Iranian constituents explained to me the long history of the repression of women and of politically motivated violence carried out by the Iranian regime. Several told me, very bravely, of their own personal stories of being arrested and tortured or of their relatives and friends who had suffered such a fate. They also spoke of the series of popular uprisings over recent years as ordinary people in Iran fight for rights that we take for granted in liberal democracies like Australia. The Green Movement in 2009 and mass protests in 2019 and again in more recent years have seen many brave Iranians take to the streets and sadly have seen many killed and many more arrested. The most recent protests follow the death of 22-year-old Maza Amini, a young woman who was violently arrested by the religious police in Tehran on 13 September on the grounds that she was not complying with the regime's onerous requirements about what women must wear in public. Maza died a few days later as a result of her brutal treatment. Since Maza's death, we have seen protests across Iran with many women taking the brave step of not wearing the head coverings which the regime insists on. My Australian Iranian constituents at this meeting told me of the systematic cruelty and abuse of power which has been displayed by the Iranian regime, including shutting down the internet as part of trying to suppress knowledge of the protest movements. Following this meeting, my Australian Iranian constituents have informed me of further developments in Iran, including over 40 deaths, many of them being children or teenagers. On Saturday, 19 November, as part of the response by the Iranian regime to anti-government protests in Kurdish areas, military vehicles were deployed and live bullets used against people, in particular in the city of Mahabad. Reports of large-scale random shootings at civilians in homes and shops, which my constituents have compared to attacks by an invading army. The Liberal National Coalition believes the Australian government should announce a tangible response to these human rights abuses in Iran and make its position clear on the implementation of diplomatic measures which have been proposed by the community and, in many cases, have already been implemented by Australia's allies and partners around the world. At the moment, Australia is a long way behind many of our allies and many like-minded nations when it comes to taking a clear stand. Other nations have already announced targeted sanctions against the leadership of Iran and against the Revolutionary Guard. Within Iran, we are seeing heroism being displayed by many people, many ordinary people, showing great bravery in standing up, particularly for the rights of women and girls, and in participating in the protest movement in response to the murder of Maza Amini. Other countries, from Canada to the UK to many nations of the European Union and to the US, have taken and announced strong action, and the Coalition believes that the Australian government uh, should also be announcing its position and catch up with uh, like-minded nations around the world. Australia should be leaning in to support those brave souls in Iran and to stand consistently with uh, other like-minded nations. It is particularly disappointing, as my constituents pointed out to me when we met, that Iran, under its oppressive regime, is presently a member of the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women, and uh, our government should be calling for Iran's removal from that body. I want to acknowledge the bravery of so many people with, uh, within Iran. And I want to acknowledge the courage and the advocacy of Australian Iranians around the nation and including in the electorate of Bradfield. 
I join with my constituents in expressing my abhorrence at the violence, oppression and repression of women being carried out by the regime in Iran and expressing my support for the Iranian people as they rise up against this oppression.